intro. Yay! What's up? What's good? It's your girl Courtney Vegan. I'm back to get another video. Listen, we're on my phone right now because as you can see, we're on my phone right now. I forgot to do an intro for this video. I just can't let y'all know that I got me a bae. I got me a bae. I got me a new boo. Me and him have been going together for some time now. I know some of y'all probably wondering how I meet him. Um, I met him on Instagram. <laughs> Before you even come for me, you can find love on Instagram. And the club. I mean, like, it was love at first sight. It's it's just something about him that just, it just gets me. <laughs> what is this? I'm not really one that's public with my relationships on social media and stuff like that. But since me and you guys are cool, I think it's time that I reveal, you know, who I've really been dating. <laughs> I have been in a deep committed relationship with Arrogant Tay for the past mm, couple of months. <laughs> Listen, listen, Tay is my whole bae and he don't even know. He don't even know me, sis. Y'all, I have been loving his page, his hair, his work, his art for the past couple of months. Honestly, I'm always late to the game. I wasn't really familiar with who he was until like a couple of months ago. He's literally the king of like body curls, slayed edges of slayed frontal of slayed wig, layers, and like a nice part. And girl, when I say it be melted, he's making a side part look really, really tasty right about now. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this arrogant Tay inspired body curls side part look. Hopefully that was intro enough. <laughs> And yeah, let's jump right into the slate. I'm so used to the camera. It's hard to do the, you know, the little, you, you know what I do. Let me just try it again. Now we can get started. All right, this is how the hair is looking after it's been dried and everything, hun. You know how the ends are looking. They're wavy towards the bottom, and yet the farther you go up, it kind of just goes to being completely straight. They do give you a lot of baby hair, which I think is great, especially for an arrogant Tay look. His look is pretty much all about baby hair and body and like bounce and curls, so they gave us a pretty good start for this look. This is the hairline that they're giving us right about now. Um, It's a nice starter hairline. It is lightly pre -plugged. I probably wouldn't do too much plucking, but since today we're going for a specific look, baby girl finna get plucked to fill. This lace is very delicate, um, and that's because it's meant to be delicate so that it can melt into your skin a whole lot better. But without me just telling y'all, let me read you guys exactly what this wig is supposed to do. This is Supernova Hair's Lie Lace Lace Front Wig. Now what this Lie Lace is supposed to be is a new kind of material which is more transparent, light, and thin. A lot more thin than a regular transparent lace. So you're guaranteed to get an even better melt when you add foundation and powder and stuff to your lace. Because if you're familiar with transparent lace, when you add some powder or some foundation to that lace, hun, that's when the magic comes to life. That's when the magic happens. I feel as if transparent lace is the best lace when you want to be completely customized because it takes to color and tinting very, very well. Most all laces come in your typical medium brown, light brown. Y'all know as being a brown girl, sometimes you can come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. So you may not always fall into those two different spectrums. So transparent lace is probably the best option for you if your skin tone doesn't really fall into those two strict options. Like me, um, my skin tone isn't light enough for light brown but it's not really as deep enough sometimes for most medium browns so a transparent lace is always the best option for me because i have a powder that's very true to my true complexion which ensures that i get the perfect melt and the perfect blend every single time so in a nutshell i would say the lie lace is like a very upgraded version of your regular standard transparent lace and we all know there's nothing wrong with a little bit of upgrade you feel me Everything is straight and I have not used the hot comb on anything. So that's why it's kind of humped up at the top. Look at this lace. I have not looked at anything. At least flatten out a little bit. I don't think I'm going to go for a middle part today. I kind of want to just do a side part. Woo! All right. This is the lace. It looks like. You know, just like it said, it's a thinner form of transparent lace. Y'all don't mind this, nicked myself. You're definitely gonna have to use some powder. It's not really matching with my skin too well. The description says that it's hidden better with powder and when you bleach your knot, first go ahead and break up this hairline. Since I'm not really gonna have these sides exposed, I'm not really caring about what's over here because I done cut this all willy-nilly one bow back anyway.
Now I know this may be kind of awkward, but I did cut the first initial install kind of short. I want to show you guys how I would normally rock the hair if I was wearing my, my normal baby hair, signature baby hair, swoops and everything like that. This is how the lace would look. I'm in love with this lace. I just love transparent lace, period. But for this to be an upgraded version of transparent lace and a lot thinner, this is bomb. You know what I'm saying? Um, I did end up fixing the holes. I will leave a video down below on how I fix my holes. As you can see, you cannot see any shame, all right? Now, this is the second install. I wore the wig for about a week and a half straight. I did wear this hair to Atlanta, so it done weathered the storm, <laughs> literally. Now, I'm going to get into my Arrogant Tay install. The hair is already installed. Um, I did put this wig on gluelessly. If you guys have not seen my glueless install, my Dollar Tree glueless install method, I will leave that video down below in the description box as well. So be sure to check that out. Um, but yeah, this wig is completely glueless. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the signature Arrogant Tay boops and flips and dips and all that good stuff. Looking on his page, the majority of his installs have at least three swoops on the side where the part is so i tried my best to mimic that as best as possible with what i was given as y'all saw i kind of overcut my sideburns so i had to finesse some sideburns for a minute and yeah i think i did okay but um next time i'm just gonna be more careful when cutting my lace <laughs> along with his signature swoops on the side tay is also really good for adding a volume effect when it comes to your bang so what i did first is kind of take my hot comb and hot comb it going up and then try to feather it over a little bit leaving like a hump towards the top and then i lifted the hair up and sprayed a little bit with my got to be glute blasting spray um smoothed it back some and then i used a little bit of heat from my hot comb now i wouldn't probably have used a hot comb because that spray and a hot comb kind of makes a white cast like a white flaky cast um, so I put the hot comb down and I ended up using my hand and scrunched it up a little bit and that worked just fine. So if I could do this again, I would say do not use the hot comb. Use your hands. It's your best tool when it comes to this banana swoop, banana hype, the volume thing. Y'all know what I'm talking about when it comes to that. Look at me still using the got to be spray like girl. Tay is also the king of Instagram body curls, bombshell curls. So I cut a few layers into the hair. So when I do curl my hair, I get that nice, bouncy, voluptuous, flowy curl effect. You feel me? Now, you know your girl ain't all there when it comes to curling. But I did try in this video. So y'all at least like this video and give me an E for effort, all right?
And yeah, you guys, this is the finished look. I'm loving how this turned out. Now y'all know this could not be an Arrogant Tay inspired video if I did not come with the Arrogant Tay Instagram live Snapchat filtered looks like come on now get with it or get lost I was serving if you guys enjoyed today's video Please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to the beehive down below Join the beehive gang the beehive fam because we are lit and we are never ever Bougie over here. Do you understand me? I know you guys will keep in contact with your girl because I'm your best friend. You're my best friend. We're all best friends. So add your girl on Instagram. A big thank you does go out to Supernova here for sending this lovely unit. And as always, my lovelies, I love every single one of you. But until next time, your crown may tilt, but you never let it fall. Stay gilded.